Come on now, I know you've heard of intermittent fasting, especially if you've watched my channel. You would have had to have lived under a rock the last few years to not have heard that term, intermittent fasting. You've heard of the millions of people that have been affected and lost weight and improved their health through intermittent fasting. Have you started intermittent fasting? If so, that's terrific. If not, here's my question to you. Why not? Today, I'm going to try to convince you of why you should make intermittent fasting a part. Of now, if you're new to my channel, I'm honored to have you here. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you're notified when I put out new videos. The goal of my channel, Tiny Mountain Wellness, is to help you improve your health in 2020 and beyond. Now, I've been talking about intermittent fasting for a couple years now. Uh, in this video, I want to share with you and get back to basics, all the benefits and all the good things about intermittent fasting. I'm going to share some 25 benefits to leading that intermittent fasting lifestyle. I'm also going to share some of the successes that I've personally enjoyed in the two years that I've made intermittent fasting a part of my lifestyle. So with that said, let's jump into my computer. All right, so here we are on my computer. Now, before we get started, I just want to let you know that I'm not a doctor, and I guess that means a couple things. That means, number one, this isn't medical advice. Number two, probably means that uh, I've studied nutrition more than most doctors, so I might be more knowledgeable than some doctors when it comes to nutrition. Uh, not positive about that. All I can promise you is that I've been passionate about studying health and, and looking for the truth studying the research, and especially when it comes to nutrition. So I've um, been teaching health and fitness for over 29 years now. So, uh, you know, my, my uh, task is to convince you of the benefits, but I want you to do more research on it as well. So again, we're going to talk about the fasting and the benefits of intermittent fasting. Uh, again, I'll start off with definitions, and, and I know you've been told this, but I want to hammer it in because sometimes that word fasting still is a taboo word and remember fasting is not the same as starvation starving oneself is well you're not really starving yourself starvation means in involuntary uh abstention from from eating you know it's not deliberate and it's not controlled fasting on the other hand is a, that voluntary uh giving up of food that choosing to not eat uh, for health reasons, which I do, spiritual or maybe other reasons as well. And of course, when we talk about intermittent, we're not, not talking about it all the time. It's intermittent. It's uh, non-continuous, uh, irregular intervals. So just remember, fasting is not starvation. And, you know, I have a video that talks about uh, the history of fasting, and I'll, I'll link it in the description below, but it's been around for thousands of years, right? It's not new, it's something that our ancestors have done. Uh, sometimes it was out of necessity, but it's only recently that we really have so much access to food and fast food and um, easily, easily prepared meals that we really eat too much. So, but intermittent fasting is being rediscovered. There's been tons of research on it and a lot of personal success stories. Now, we talk about this all the time, probably cleanses. You hear that all the time, detox, detoxifications, purifications. It's been called a lot of things, but in general, that's just fasting, cleansing our body, allowing our body to detox from all the stuff we put in it. So again, it's nothing really new. It's nothing dangerous, and it doesn't have to be scary. So let's get into it right now, the, the benefits. Um, I guess I'll start with what it's done for me. And I've been doing intermittent fasting for two years now, a uh, little over two years. But uh, and I started uh, on a journey, kind of a surprising journey. It, it found me more than than I found intermittent fasting. And again, I'll link that that story about me uh, down below in the description below. But one thing, and probably most people try intermittent fasting to lose weight. And I did lose weight and I lost a lot of weight. I lost 32 pounds in over six or excuse me, in just over three months. And that was two years ago. I've kept it off. So, you know, I was 54 years old, 
probably for the previous 14, 15, 16 years, I could never get my weight down. I always hovered between that set point of about 216 to 226, even 230 a couple times. And I could work my tail off, exercise like crazy, not eat very much. And I could get my weight down to about 212, but I just couldn't get out of that set point. Once I started intermittent fasting, even though I wasn't doing it for weight loss, all of a sudden, the pounds just melted off. And in just over three months, I was down to uh, two, excuse me, down from 226 down to 194 or so. Now I keep it right around one between 195 and 197. I could get lower if I wanted, but that's about the, the weight I feel comfortable with. One of the best benefits to me was I no longer had to take medication for an autoimmune disease. If you've been to my channel, maybe you've watched the video again, I'll link it in the description below, but I have an autoimmune disease. It's really been kind of diagnosed as polymyalgia, but it kind of presents itself as arthritis. And if I've been eating too much, especially too many carbohydrates, I get that inflammation and I start getting some arthritic type pain. And it put me down for the count for a while. And once I started intermittent fasting, I no longer had to take medication. I was taking prednisone and I didn't want to take prednisone for the rest of my life. And intermittent fasting allowed me to not take medicine. I haven't taken any meds in two years for that autoimmune disease. And remember, there's well over a hundred different types of autoimmune disease. So if you suffer from auto, autoimmune disease, you're taking medication, intermittent fasting may just be your answer. One thing I noticed, I sleep better before I started intermittent fasting and cutting out some of the carbohydrates in my diet. I sleep so much better than I ever did. And I have more energy wouldn't think that you'd have more energy, but as we'll talk in, in a little bit, you, your body starts uh, using fat for energy, and fat's a good energy source. It's just not what the body likes to choose from, and I'll, I'll chat with that. But I have more energy now. I can get through workouts even if I've been fasting. And quite honestly, I am less hungry during the day. Uh, doesn't mean I don't suffer from hunger sometimes, especially on longer fasts, but I'm not hungry in the morning. I'm not hungry at lunch during my normal work day. Um, and that's been helped by intermittent fasting. So that's just what it's done. That's just a few things it's done for me. And I know it can help you as well. But let's talk about all the other benefits. These are studied benefits. Um, some of these that I'm going to discuss have really only been studied in laboratory animals. And there's so much research being done on intermittent fasting because we've rediscovered it. But some of them uh, we, we were seeing in humans as well. Weight loss. Again, as I said, it's probably the number one reason people try intermittent fasting. And why does it work so well for weight loss? Well, it's because it causes your body to turn to fat for its energy source. Okay. So by, you know, the body wants to use energy or use carbohydrates for energy, that's the easiest source. And we eat a lot of carbohydrates. And so there's a lot of carbs uh, in our liver, in our muscles, and in our blood. And the body wants to use that. But it has four calories in every gram. Fat has nine calories in every gram. So if we can just train our body um, to become what I call fat adapted, your body can flip that switch from using carbohydrates to using fat. And once you become fat adapted and your body uses fat as its energy source, that's when you're going to lose a lot of weight. It takes a little bit of time. Um, you know, there's a book I'm going to put list down in the description below, and it's uh, by a leading nephrologist. He's a kidney specialist, and he wrote The Obesity Code. And that's where I learned a ton about how weight loss really occurs, really how obesity happens, and how we can counter obesity, but it all comes down to teaching our body to become fat adapted. The other thing about intermittent fasting is lowered blood sugar levels. Okay, when we eat something, the sugar in our blood goes up and we eat so much 
on our, you know, on our standard American diet, sad <laughs> a diet. We take in way too many carbohydrates. We take in too many processed carbohydrates, especially all the fast food, all the uh, manufactured food, so many of the chips and, and cookies and candy are processed. And so we just have huge uh, blood sugar levels. Um, and when we have too many carbs that our liver can't store, that can't get stored in our muscles, guess what? It's turned to fat. It actually is stored as fat. And why is that? It's because insulin does that. When Whenever we have a spike in our blood sugar, insulin is produced. And insulin is that natural hormone that tells our body to get the sugar, the carbohydrates, out of the blood and to the cells. Problem is, our cells are already too packed because we eat so many sugary foods, so many foods loaded with processed carbohydrates. And those excess carbohydrates in our blood sugar have nowhere to go. And so guess what? The insulin is a fat storage, is a fat storage uh, hormone. And so it causes the excess blood sugar and carbohydrates to be stored as fat. And then with over time, our body actually becomes resistant to that insulin. Okay. Maybe you've heard of insulin resistance. And when you've been determined determined to be insulin resistant, that's when you become pre-diabetic. That's when your doctor starts diagnosing, diagnosing you as having type 2 diabetes. Okay? And oftentimes they put you on medication. Sometimes they may tell you that type 2 diabetes um, is not reversible, that you'll be taking meds the rest of your life, but it's absolutely not true. With diet, with intermittent fasting especially, you can reverse. There's been tons of cases of people with that are on medications for type 2 diabetes absolutely reverse their type 2 diabetes get off insulin resistance and increase their insulin sensitivity so don't let anyone tell you that is not reversible again dr fung that nephrologist that wrote the obesity code he, he writes another book called the diabetes code and uh, i'll put a link to that below too because that will Again, tell you a lot about how we store fat, how insulin works on our body, and how you can reduce or reverse um, type 2 diabetes. Okay. Some of the other benefits include uh, improved blood cholesterol. So if you have issues with high cholesterol, um, which I had a little bit, my low LDLs. You've heard about that LDL level. Well, it's really not about your LDL level, but it's your ratio of your low density lipoproteins to your high density lipoproteins, your HDL and your overall cholesterol. So intermittent fasting can improve that cholesterol profile and that, that, uh, that ratio. And we know that uh, intermittent fasting has been shown to lower blood pressure. So, you know, I'll be talking about who should not take do intermittent fasting. Well, people with extremely low blood pressure have to consult their doctor. But uh, if you have high blood pressure uh, at all, intermittent fasting can help with that. It's been shown to slow down the aging process. Now, those of you that followed my channel know that this is one of my big topics that I study. One of my big concerns is aging. And I have several videos on aging and I'll continue to study. I don't want to get older. I know I can't help it, but I at least want to age gracefully. So all my energy is really put into uh, studying why we age and how can we slow that down. There's tons of new research. Some people think you can almost reverse it. Um, we're not there yet, but I know we can do some things. And intermittent fasting does some tremendous things for us that can slow down aging. So that's what I'm most excited about. Uh, the weight loss is great. Not being able to take, having to take medications for uh, my autoimmune disease is great. Sleeping better is great. More energy is great. But I want to slow down aging. I'm going to turn 57 this year. Um, but I want to go another 30, 40 years of doing all the things that I enjoy. I'm going to throw out some things here that are somewhat kind of scientific terms that I don't even understand completely. I'm not going to go into great detail, but one thing intermittent fasting has done, it's been shown to protect telomeres. 
Now, you may not know what telomeres are, but I want you to imagine your shoelaces. And on the ends of your shoelaces, there's those coverings to help you uh, thread through the holes in your shoes. Well, that's kind of what telomeres are. Telomeres are caps. They're end caps on the ends of the strands of DNA. And as we get older, those kind of become unraveled, unraveled, just like on your shoelaces. And when those caps that are designed to protect our chromosomes start uh, fragmenting and start decaying a little bit, we age. And so we want to protect the length of those telomeres, want to protect those caps, and that'll slow down aging. So uh, again, some of these things like this uh, that I'm going to talk about in the next few minutes have really only been studied, but they're exciting studies on lab laboratory animals, and they're just starting those those studies on human studies, but, but that's pretty exciting. One thing I can attest to is that intermittent fasting reduces inflammation, and that's why I, uh, I don't see those signs and symptoms of, of my autoimmune disease, that reduction in inflammation. I can tell when I've eaten too many carbohydrates and I need to probably detox a little bit, I actually, in my finger, will start getting arthritic in my hands. And that's when I know I need to increase the length of my fast and probably cut back on my carbs. And we know that uh, inflammation, especially that chronic inflammation, not necessarily acute, but the chronic inflammation leads to so many diseases, including heart disease, heart attacks, hardening of the arteries, and that sort of thing. So um, that's got to be huge in all our lives is reducing inflammation and intermittent fasting does that. It reduces oxidative stress. So what is oxidative stress? Again, we're getting scientific here, but uh, oxidative stress is really kind of that imbalance. Now, maybe you've heard of free radicals floating in our body. I know you've heard of antioxidants, you know, the things we get from food, blueberries, and omega-3s, and that sort of thing. But oxidative stress is when there's an imbalance and there's really a lot of free radicals and very few antioxidants in our body. And intermittent fasting restores that balance and helps with that oxidative stress so we don't have so many free radicals floating in our, in our system. And again, that'll help. Uh, oxidative stress leads to a lot of chronic disease, so that'll help us. Increased production of human growth hormone. As we age, our bodies produces less and less growth hormone. Now, obviously, human growth hormone is really important in young people, helps them grow and get stronger and bigger, and their bodies develop. At our age, uh, it's just about maintaining muscle and, and slowing down that aging process. So we still need human growth hormone, and we need to boost that all we can. Intermittent fasting has amazing results uh, in boosting our uh, human growth hormone. In fact, it's been shown 200, 300% increase in human growth hormone when we exercise while we're fasting. So again, it's pretty, pretty exciting. It boosts our immunity. Uh, it's been shown uh, a lot of times to reset our immunity if we can go for fast for 48 hours, which I'll talk about in future videos. Uh, if we can do that once or twice a year, go for a couple days without eating, we can have an immunity reset. And intermittent fasting is also shown to increase the production of white blood cells. So let's keep going. More, more uh, exciting news about intermittent fasting and benefits. Improved brain health. Of course, as we get older, we want to make sure we avoid brain fog, um, Alzheimer's, dementia, any of that sort of thing. This lack of concentration and intermittent fasting is shown to improve our brain health. And it's done that. Uh, it produces, again, I'm going to get scientific, uh, increases a hormone in our brain called BDNF, or that's brain-derived neurotropic factor. Okay? And <laughs> all I can say is look it up, but BDNF uh, increases the resistance of our neurons dysfunctioning and degenerating. So it improves our brain health just through uh, intermittent fasting and choosing not to take in as much food. With that, and with all that brain health, it's going to improve our mental clarity. It's going to improve our concentration. There's going to be, there's exciting studies showing a lowered risk of Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease because of this BDNF improvement. 
Uh, some other things, it improves our gut health. Now, how do we go from brain health to gut health? Well, our gut has actually been said to be our second brain. Uh, I've been studying gut health a little bit and the importance of maintaining uh, that proper gut biome. And it's exciting. And it's so huge in our overall health, maintaining a healthy gut. So uh, you should see more videos on gut health because that's fascinating to me. Brain health, obviously, we all focus on that, but we don't focus on our gut near enough. Autophagy. So it's a strange word. Maybe you've heard of it, maybe you haven't, but this is exciting to me because when we fast, when we take periods of time where we don't add food to our diet, our body will actually do a cellular repair. And that's kind of a waste removal of all the worn out proteins and decaying proteins within our cells. Uh, so our healthy cells will actually break down and manufacture or eat if you will, that unhealthy protein. So it's actually a cellular cleansing and it's autophagy. And it's spurred on after 16 to, to 24 hours of fasting, that autophagy takes place. So, so that's exciting. And then there's some real promising research regarding cancer and how intermittent fasting can uh, inhibit some of the, that growth in certain cancers. And again, there's way more studies to be done. You're going to be seeing a ton more about intermittent fasting, and almost all of it is promising. So you need to get started as soon as you can. So those are kind of my benefits, how it's benefited me, and then some scientific things going on, a lot of reasons you should. Here's some bonus things that people don't necessarily think about. Again, there's that increased energy. A lot of people think, well, if I starve myself again, or if I fast, there's that myth that I won't have that energy. I'm telling you, I work out. I'm a fitness teacher. I work out three to four times a week. I go backpacking. I go mountain biking in a fasted state. And my body turns to fat as fuel, and I have plenty of energy. Some people have reported clear skin. That's kind of uh, a nice thing. People that uh, struggle with eczema or acne, uh, they get clear, clear skin. They've reported that. But some other things, it's going to simplify your life. Think about it. I don't have to get up in the morning and think about what I'm going to have for breakfast. I don't even have to think about what I'm making for lunch. A lot of times do just one meal a day. So it is so simple to do. It simplified my life. It saved money. All those meals I'm missing, I don't worry about buying lunches at lunchtime. I don't worry about buying breakfast foods or anything. Uh, so intermittent fasting, again, it's not a diet. You don't have to buy the Nutrisystem food or the Weight Watchers food or anything, it's free. It's just an eating pattern. And it works with any diet. If you're vegan, if you're paleo, if you're Mediterranean, high carb, uh, low fat, whatever diet you may choose to do, Nutrisystem, Weight Watchers, and they, they all work to some extent, but intermittent fasting works with any diet. And it doesn't feel as restrictive as a diet. There's going to be times you think, I'm hungry, but you just have to make it another hour. You don't feel like you're restricted. You don't need to eat healthy, but once you get to breaking your fast, you can eat uh, just a normal meal. So I hope there's a light bulb going off right now. Some of you, I know that light bulb's probably already gone, and, and that's great. If you've been intermittent fasting, keep it up. I know... I've been intermittent fasting for two years. I continue to do it in different ways. I learn more and more about it. So keep following my channel. If you haven't started intermittent fasting, I implore you to start it as soon as you can because it'll improve your life. And it's not always easy to get started, but it can be done. And remember, fighting to improve our health is a lifelong endeavor. We need to keep at it and never give up on improving our health. Uh, I'm going to put a lot of resources down in the description below. Go to my website. There's a lot about intermittent fasting. I'm going to put a free ebook on intermittent fasting 101. Study the research, look into it, but get started as soon as you can. And don't just take my word for it. Uh, you know, do your own research. Talk to your doctor. Some doctors don't know about it, uh, but give intermittent fasting a try. Now, I will say it's not for everyone. In, in another video coming up here in a couple of days, I'll talk about 
side effects of intermittent fasting who I think shouldn't be fasting. But I'm telling you, about 95% or higher of adults should be intermittent fasting. It'll improve your health. So again, uh, another, I'll talk about how it works and how to start. I'm going to put resources down below, but get started. Don't wait to improve your health. So thanks for watching here till the end. Again, if you haven't, please subscribe. If you got some value out of this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps get it out to other people. And again, hit that bell notification. If you want to get more videos on intermittent fasting, hit that bell notification and it'll let, let you know when I do that. Check out my blog at tinymountainwellness.com. There's a lot more videos, a lot more articles about intermittent fasting and how it's affected me. It talks about autoimmune disease and there's ways uh, in which I can help you even set up some personalized plans. All right. So take care, get healthier, get started in intermittent fasting as soon as you can. And until next time, I'm gone.